Title IX forbids discrimination based on sex and education and remains a vital piece in the ongoing push for equality, including in the LGBTQ community. The law is meant to ensure equity between men and women in education, covering most K-12 through schools and colleges and universities. It also applies to vocational schools, libraries, and museums, meaning tens of millions of students as well as educators are protected under the law. At a State Department event Wednesday, First Lady Jill Biden celebrated a 50-year milestone of a landmark civil rights law. Title IX created space for girls and women to be more. Passed in 1972, Title IX leveled the playing fields for millions of women to play sports and attend college. The First Lady was joined by legendary tennis player and activist Billie Jean King. One of the most important pieces of legislation of the 20th century. King, who was a college athlete before the law passed, says she was forced to work two jobs while male athletes enjoyed full scholarships. In 2006, the U.S. Open Stadium Complex in Queens was renamed in Billie Jean King's honor. We can never understand inclusion until we've been excluded. The 37 word provision was originally tucked into the 1972 higher education bill. So much has changed since then. The law was invoked when the Obama administration advised that transgender people should be allowed to use the bathroom of their choice in schools. Earlier this year, the U.S. women's soccer team also scored a huge legal victory under Title IX when they were awarded equal pay as their male counterparts. Over the past five decades, Title IX has evolved as it continues to transform lives. This work matters. And there are two types of Title IX complaints that can be filed on the local and federal levels. Local grievances run through the school's Title IX's coordinator or office. Federal complaints go to the Education Department's Office for Civil Rights. These investigations can take months or years to complete.